hello, hello. All right, pool fans. We're getting ready to get started here. Chris is just explaining the clock shot, uh, shot clock rules to Molly. We have the winner side finals. We have Karen Kaur versus Molly Bontrager. Bontrager, that is correct. Yep, the up and coming star, first pro tournament, and here she is, winner side finals. Mm hmm. Yeah, and I heard something about first time playing 10 ball on oh, really? nine foot table. <laughs> they don't play it. They ha only have like seven foot tables back where they live, too. So. Even more impressive. Yes. First time playing 10 ball, first time playing nine foot tables. Not, not, well, maybe not first time. Or 10 ball on nine foot tables, you right. know, whatever, you know, yeah. Yeah, I guess she's more of a nine ball on a seven foot table specialist. Yeah. I would imagine she'd be a specialist at it. <laughs> <laughs> Way she's playing 10 ball on a 9 foot table, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Karen Core won the lag, and true to form, they are doing rack their own, even yeah, though even the though rules are supposed to be rack for your opponent, but that's okay. We are using the, uh, the CSI rules. Yeah, we are doing CSI rules 10 ball. Supposed to be rack for your opponent, but they're doing rack your own. Alternate break, uh, call ball in pocket. An illegally pocketed ball is the incoming player. Has the option to accept or pass it back. So you follow rules in effect. Yep. And when I say it's supposed to be rack for your opponent, uh, what I mean is NAPT plays with that rule. That's not a standard CSI rule. Standard CSI rule is rack, rack your own. Yep. And so that's what the girls are doing. And, you know, tournament director, is, you know, allows them to, yep. if they decide between the two of them, we're just going to rack our own yep. and go that's ahead. Your, uh, that's your tournament director, Chris Rogers, right there in the background. You can see in the white shirt. Yep. The, you know, this is your your um, hot seat match. And behind us there, behind Karen there, is the match for fourth place. Both of them are on a 30-second shot clock. I don't think that one over there is on a 30-second shot clock. I think I see Ford sitting over there. Oh, never mind. I see Ford in the, in the never camera. Never mind, yep. <laughs> never mind. Ford's over there shot clocking him. Yep. Yeah, because you don't have anybody coming in to turn in scores or ask questions, anything like that. You've got your ref your and your um, shot clocker all in one right there at the table. Yep. All right, dry break for Karen brings Molly to the table. Yep, she's trying to get in behind the six ball. It's going to roll in there nicely. She didn't think she hit it hard enough, and she did. She thought it was going to come up a little short. Now, that was what I heard um, in a conversation between, I don't know if it's Molly's husband or her boyfriend, her gentleman friend that is here with her. Um, was talking to somebody who's going to, they're going to probably be doing a bio on the top four here. And that is her husband. Okay. So I was talking with them. Yeah, uh, and they were saying, how, you know, it was her first time playing 10 ball on a nine foot table. And Karen has missed the kick. Wow. An unexpected miss by Karen. Uh huh. It's going to bring Molly to the table. And see, the, she's gonna probably have to play a three-four combination. And hopefully, the the three stays in front of the side. Well, not hopefully, but she has to make sure that it does. Yeah. Well, it, it could go if it falls below the side pocket. It's okay because then it would be able to go past the right. eight. That is true. Yes, absolutely. And it do it doesn't look like it goes past the eight right now. It definitely doesn't pass the seven. And, well, where this cue ball is positioned, she's kind of off angle, so if she wants to shoot the three in the side next, this cue ball is going to be going, like, towards the towards the ten, with, you know, if she shoots it with draw. No. So she may try to play where the three, you know, to cut the four a little bit, where the three does go to the rail, so she can play the three past the eight. No. Mm -hmm. And that's what Just she's like doing. That. And or is she, is she going to roll in there? Yeah, yeah, it, it goes. Uh, does Maybe. it? Yeah. <laughs> that's really close. Um, I don't know. That's I'm looking right at it, and I don't think it does. 
And even if it does, she it, can it, just, play the billiard. it just barely goes, which means she wouldn't be able to hit it hard. Just and look where that five is. It's like no, Just play away. the billiard on the eight. Yeah. That's another possibility. Maybe. No, I think it. Is, I think it's a good shot from where she is. Push the three to the side rail. Cue ball makes the eight and hits the rail and comes back up for the three. I'm looking right at it. But she may have just called the three off of the rail, off of the eight. I didn't see what she called, but she called something there. <laughs> oh, she was, uh, I think she was trying to play safe and that didn't turn out the way she wanted. Or maybe she was trying to play the three and it didn't react off the eight the way she was envisioning. All right, she's in good line on this five, which was the other potential problem ball. Yeah, being yeah. just outside the side pocket on the <coughs> rail. Oh, and just off and off of it enough where it couldn't be a big problem. Uh, and she's going to pop off the rail here a little bit, shoot the five in the corner. Ooh, nice shot. Yep. Looks like she has a little bit of angle. Well, does she have angle on the six? Uh, Ooh, maybe not. Uh, doesn't matter. She could draw straight back and take a thinner cut on the seven. Yeah, she'd like to be able to just slide off of this to have the angle, you know, and she'd like, you know, kind of like towards the center of the yeah, table. she uh, cheated the pocket and forced that ball over. Cheated it to the maximum? Yes. And they do get a little bit extra time there if they need to get the bridge, and so that's. Uh, yeah, he will. Uh, he'll pause the stop the the shot clock for virtually anything, <laughs> whether it's yeah. getting the bridge or. Uh, uh oh. Whew. Yeah, yeah. He he'll he'll uh, start either pause it or not start it until she walks over and picks up the bridge. But being that she didn't walk over and pick it up first, it was probably pause. Right. He tried to motion to her to show her where the bridge was, and she walked over and looked at the shot first, and then went back and got the bridge. All right, Karen, in good position to take this first game. Yeah, and you know if. Uh, you know, say they have to wait for the player behind them to shoot. Right. Yeah, they're not on a 30-second shot clock then. <laughs> exactly. You know, and as, as Chris was saying, you know, the purpose of the shot clock is not to give people ball in hand because they took too long. It's just to encourage, you know, the play to, you know, keep moving along. Yeah. You know, uh, he says he's refereed hundreds of matches with a shot clock and has never given a ball in hand once because of time running out. Oh, uh, that's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and, you know, a lot of a lot of tournaments that you're playing in, um, the, that shot clock is 45 <coughs> seconds. And if you actually got down there and had somebody tell, you know, get down on a ball and just stay down there until somebody tells you your 45 seconds is over, it's an eternity. Yeah. Yeah, and also the way they do it here is if you're already down on the sh you know, they'll give you a 10-second warning uh, unless you're down on the shot. He's not going to talk to you while you're down on the shot. Mm -hmm. uh, if you then stand up, then you get a 10-second warning, so you still have 10 seconds, even if you were down on the shot for a minute. Yeah, you, as long you as know, you went down before 10 was called. Yeah, before before you, you know, before the 20 seconds. Yeah, and if you get down <coughs> at 10, you have the 10 seconds to shoot it. It doesn't stop there. They used to, uh, the WPBA used to pause the clock there. They don't do that, I don't think. Right. Once 10 is called, you have 10 seconds. One on the side. And All right. No uh, shot on the two. Yeah, if that seven wasn't there, if it stopped rolling, I would think, you know, maybe a jump shot on the two might be in order, but that, with that seven there, I think that blocks a jump shot possibly. Yeah, so. Or maybe not. I mean, what do you want to give? Can, do you just shoot <coughs> to the uh, side rail directly across from the two? <coughs> maybe shoot right at the four? If she could shoot at to hit the four full? 
when you're looking at it from the other view, the four is, is high of the two ball. Shoot to the side rail, leave the four ball over there, but that gives her another ball to possibly play uh, defense with. All right, pushing out to a jump shot. And Karen is fairly proficient with the jump cue. Yes, she is, but I think she's going to let her shoot this. Because yeah. you have to jump it, you have to go in between the three seven there, too. That three's pretty, pretty big there, trying to miss the seven ball when you're jumping. Yeah, well, she did push it to the left a little bit, which uh, gives her more room away from that three ball. Yeah, but it still is you know, there. It gives you less of the two ball to hit. And she's Actually, hit it. Almost made it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the only thing she's left, Karen, here is either a safe or a, a bank into the cross side. I think Karen would be playing safe here. Yeah, she tends to uh, prefer safeties over a shot that she's not 100% sure she's going to make. Yeah, <laughs> she's a percentage player. They usually win a lot, those percentage players. <laughs> Especially over those uh, freewheelers. <laughs> and there she is, playing safety. Is it going to hit the seven and... All right. Successful safety. Yeah. All right, kick to this bottom rail with a little bit of spin, go into the two and call the 10 in the side. Hey, there you go. Hit the two kind of foolish. Who, who, who are you calling foolish? <laughs> full. Full, not fool. Foolish. <laughs> She's going two rails at the two. Oh, and went just right through nice. there. Right between. Uh, no, Bill, we don't. Do you know we have an echo? I did not know that. Okay, well, apparently we have an echo. Uh, anybody else hearing an echo? Do you have... Uh, no, nobody else hears an echo. Is any, does anybody else hear an echo? Maybe Bill's got two uh, two screens running. Yeah, you might have uh, you might have the YouTube uh, player open in in two tabs. Okay, good. Yeah, because we have had Echo before, so you yeah. had me scared there for a second. Uh, nice shot, Karen. Gonna bounce off the side rail. Nice angle on the four. Is a five past the um, seven or the ten? Uh. Good question. Yep. Okay, we got a bunch of no echoes. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Oh, no. Wow. Yep, not to... Uh, if you told everybody yet, uh, the mat that match for fourth place between Brittany Bryant and Ja Lee will be um, uploaded. It's oh, being recorded. Not, hey, <laughs> there I am. Well, yes, I have uh, I have told people, but uh, it's okay to remind them. Uh, it's six four in favor of. I believe it's in favor of Ja Lee. Are you sure it's six to four and not zero zero? And they just didn't flip over the scores from last match. Have they been playing that long? They've, that been, it's they've, six been, four? they've been playing that long, yes. Really? Yep. Wow. Oh, yeah, because they started like almost right. No, because they both should have started at 2 o'clock. They should have only been playing for 17 minutes. When this match started 14 minutes ago, the score was 6-3, and they were on a five-minute break. So, yes. They are still playing. Jolly, Brittany, Brian. Yep, those are the same two players that have been there this whole time. Yep. 
All right, nice shot there coming across. It just it doesn't seem like they could have been over there because Jaw just got done playing here, you know, here a half hour ago. Or not he uh No, this was Eleanor Collado versus Kia Sidbury. Oh that's right. That's the other fifth match and not fourth place. No. Yeah. Don't mind me. I'm here. I thought that was a match for fourth place out there. Which is why I was saying I didn't think it was on a shot clock because it it's not for fourth. It's uh, the other fifth, sixth match. Right? Well, Ford's over there, so. Anyway, nice out, Molly. Yep. Yeah, that is fifth. No. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Billy, he, uh, he turned off his YouTube player, but he still hears us, so you got to play in somewhere else, too. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's playing on your phone in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Got it on another screen somewhere. It's hidden or something. Okay, so Eleanor is waiting for the winner of that match over there. Yes. Okay, I got it now. I'm, uh, I'm getting it. I'm a little slow to pick it up today, but I'm picking up what you're laying down finally. All right, so Karen back to the table. Got to avoid some traffic to get back for the two ball. And she's got traffic successfully avoided. Uh huh. She must live over there in that California she lives traffic. In, she lives in Philadelphia. I and know. They got traffic there. <laughs> <laughs> they got traffic there too. Yeah. I'm starting to think they have traffic everywhere, even in Traffic City. Yeah. No, not in Traffic City. Our little town of 14,000 we live in. People call it Traffic City instead of Traverse City. It's so cute. <laughs> Uh, I think I think that's yeah. It's so cute. Do you think this is traffic? <laughs> yeah, it's it's precious. Yeah, I try going to L.A. sometime when the where the freeway is uh, was it like uh, fifteen lanes across and it's all gridlocked. <laughs> that's traffic. All right, well, she's straight on this four, so she's going to have to play for a bank on the five. Oh, i got to stand up. My back is sitting down for three days. Uh, that, I should step back in here kind of further away from that speaker. Well, that was good speed. I have to bank the five cross side. Just six past the nine or no? Um, it's pretty tight if it does. Huh? Yeah, she's, she's not playing safe. She's not falling for it. Uh, I swore she called the pocket though. <laughs> I guess maybe she, maybe she called it and then when just she got just in case something funny happens. But then when she got down, she was like, "Nah, I don't really like it. I changed my mind." <laughs> Rather than get up and call safe, I'll just play it safe anyway. <laughs> or maybe she thought, you know, maybe there was a chance it could rub off of the six and still go into the side, you yeah, know? Maybe. And so call it just in case the six is coming out into the clear. 
Oh, wow. She didn't it's her first uh, missed Miss jump shot so far. Yep. She's hit or made every uh, every other one. Yeah, she's made she's made a legal hit on every jump shot so far and has even pocketed one ball so far. Almost another one that was pretty tough too. Yeah. And it is now six five Brittany and Ja. She's making a comeback. I think Dawn's probably going to be Hill Hill, too. I think every match so far has, gonna, uh, has been Hill Hill. Yeah, Brittany did this against uh, April and then came back and won. Spoilers. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, there was no way in the world you were going to figure that out before we go back and watch the video. Spoilers for all the uh, people that are watching. Maybe they're going to watch the matches in order. Yeah, but <laughs> it, I think they're a little smarter than that. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe April wins, even though Brittany was still playing in the tournament after that. Oh, there's somebody's kid out there. <laughs> oh, here. Zoom. There he goes. He's been running. <laughs> well, he did wait until after she shot before he went running. Wow. <laughs> And Karen's laughing, shaking, shaking her head. Shaking her it's head. Like, like, oh, boy. It's like, did anyone else just see that, or yeah. am I seeing things? Oh, no, we got it on <laughs> film. Are you sure everyone's lag is five minutes? Maybe it's, uh, maybe you've paused it for five minutes. Maybe that's why you're behind so far. Yeah, Maybe you need to refresh and uh, start over. Yeah, or refresh. I don't mean go take a shower. I mean uh, hit the refresh button on the browser. There we go. Take that the shot on the side rather than trying to <laughs> shove it down its throat and draw the cue ball back. Just a nice little pop off of it for the 10 in the side. All right, <laughs> Karen Core, two to one. Well, here, type something in the chat and see how long before it comes up. <laughs> <laughs> well, for us, it's only a couple seconds. Yeah, I know. Yes, it was. <laughs> Chris, uh, tournament director, asked me, was that on camera? No. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, I saw him coming through. I saw him go this way. <laughs> I'm like, uh-oh. He's like, it was on camera, right? Uh, yep, <laughs> both of us got our backs to it. <laughs> yeah. We're weaving in right between them. <laughs> What's funny, though, he waited till she shot, and then, then he went running through there. <laughs> well, he, he's got some pool room etiquette at, yeah. at that age. That's nice. He probably has. I'm, I'm assuming he has pool player parents <laughs> <laughs> being in the so. pool room here. He just wandered in off the street. <laughs> <laughs> Are you my mommy? Are you my mother? Molly is from Elkhart, Indiana. All right. Nice little safety there by Karen. She would have loved to get frozen in there, like between that six four. Yeah. Then but that would have been yeah. that would have been really nice. But as it is, well, at least so she's she, kicking. Yeah, she's kicking. She might be able to make this cross side, and that's that is what she called. And, and she's made it. Nice shot. Cut the two in back and forth. She's probably going to put then try and come in between that five seven and come back across the table. Yeah, she likes to stroke the ball. She's got a really nice stroke too. She's made it, and is she going to have a shot on the three? No. Nope. Two rails out of there. 
Yeah, or she could try to go one rail at it one to try rail. to make it in the yeah. corner. Yeah, right there by where she's standing at. Kick it right at, uh, hit just just below the seven ball. Uh, she's looking at, uh, well, she's looking at the two, two railer now. No, the two railer seems a lot safer. And I think she might have just called extension because I heard Chris say 10. All right, good hit. Is not lined up a dead 10 ball. No, nope. and she's left Karen, you know, tough here. Karen's got a probably going to have to play safe. Maybe bank the three up over at the 8-5 and put the cue ball on the back of the nine. Karen likes doing the ones where the balls travel a little bit further than what I'm used to playing, and it's more like the... Yeah, uh, she definitely likes to put distance between them. Yeah. She's cutting it. Speared it in the center of the hole. Well, that looks like it came up uh, about right there. <laughs> he almost immediate. I'm talking about the test. Came in at 2:28. Well, no, the lag. The stream. lag is uh, on the video going yeah. back out. Yeah. That's where the lag is, so we won't know until Tam sees it in the video. Ah, and tells us again. Exactly. Uh huh. Nice cut. Oh, I thought she oh made it. Oh man, it's I thought hang. it was gone too. All right. Brings Molly to the table, and that looks like that five does go in the corner past the seven. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. It also looks like it goes in the side if uh, if if she prefers that, because she might be playing this rail first, which would be playing position for. I think I I was expecting her to hit it harder and come around for the side. Yeah, hit that rail and then bounce out. Yeah. At least. But she was trying to hold it for the corner and has ended up in a tough spot. She's a pretty good shot maker, so she has a good chance of making this. And that's going to lay up perfect for Karen. Yeah, it is. Of course it is, Hill Hill. <laughs> Who didn't know that? Hill Hill up on the other table. Two, two extensions each at a, on a Hill Hill match. Yeah, and we, we reset today too, so it shouldn't be that much of a lag, I wouldn't think. Well, when I asked if there was an echo, and people started uh, responding pretty quickly. Yeah. Nice shot. I'm just going to go to the rail and back over for the nine ball. It's yeah. up there. Not much lag at all, really. Yeah. At least not on ours. No. Nope. There we go. Nice. Nice stroke. This 10 ball here to end game number three. Four. Game number four. I can count. <laughs> See, I wasn't going to, you know, I didn't mean Karen's score, game three. I was really talking about the game number. I forgot Molly had won a game. All right. Uh, three to one, Karen. That's going to be Karen's break. Tam said it was three minutes for her. 
All right, they're gonna take a break on this table. Let's uh, go watch the, the hill hill the, game. We'll watch this hill hill game for fifth place. Yeah, if you're getting a lot of lag, try try refreshing your browser, reloading. Yeah, because it's you know, like you said, we asked if there was an echo, and within seconds, people were answering in the chat room. Because no. in my uh, my web browser I have open here, the lag's only uh, you know. Tens of seconds, if that. Karen is. Oh, no. Hmm. Well, it's going to come around it. She's just, ho, All right. ho. Yeah, this, <laughs> All right. This, this has uh, worked out pretty good. Looks like she has just a hair of either straight in or just a hair of angle leading to the five. So you can shoot the four and the five in the same corner. Yeah, and she can, uh, she's able to cue at the ball that's off the rail here, so she can do basically whatever she wants with it. Is that music coming through? I got a feeling it's coming through. All right, she was pretty straight on it. Yep, maybe we'll just roll it up, the five up in the corner. Yeah, roll forward, seven in the side. Eight in the side. Nine in, uh, in the corner. Okay. There we go, nice speed. Yep. It's very nice speed. go just draw it back oh she drew it way back letting out some of that adrenaline there <laughs> uh, Karen has got almost perfect mechanics absolutely she does yeah I mean that years and years and years of snooker play will do that to you of any kind of pool, if you're playing it professionally, but snooker, you know, you have to, you have to have that pause and you know everything, you know, free, you know, the pause on your stroke, the freeze when you're done shooting. Oh yeah, a yeah. nice body alignment so that everything is flowing straight and not wonky. Yeah, if you want to work on your mechanics, uh, yeah, play snooker for a while. That'll yeah. get you in line. Yeah, and that's what you know. Allison's the same way. It's the same every time, and you know. Uh, great uh, pre-shot routine, too. Yeah, she's trying to decide, do I just, just a, a soft with a little bottom left? Uh, do I try to come back and forth? Do I follow three rails? You know, she's... Around, big bounce, big bounce. bounce. Yep, there it is, is that's nice. perfect. That's some, that'll be your match. Brittany may not even make her she shoot She isn't, it. she's... Shaking her hand. Yeah, nice, very nice tournament, Brittany Bryant. Back to back Hill Hill matches after being down like 5 2 or something like that. Yep. Do you want to go over and stop that real yep, quick? Yep, that's what I was just about to go do. Okay. All right, Karen back racking the balls. Kevin's going to go stop the recording over on the other camera and start it again for that match for fourth place. It's going to be starting any time. They'll get right on it. They'll give jo jo uh, Jolly enough time to take a little break, go to the bathroom real quick, and come back and get going again.
Nice break. Everything's running around. Three has fallen, and she is hooked. Uh, and, and she may go for this just because this is a pretty wide open rack and you don't want to give your opponent um, advan you know the advantage of you know here and turning over the table here is giving it giving up an advantage. And I think she's trying to figure out, do I want to push out? And she can push. You can push over to, like, the bottom rail down there. Uh, she's going to push just past the side pocket. Try not to leave her enough to where she can shoot it up in the corner, but I think she might have. I think she's left Molly. If she's left her enough to cut this in, she's going to shoot at it. Pretty sure of that. And she, oh, she's nice shot. You go play the safe. Try to lock her up in on the back of the seven ball. And Karen can see this, but. I don't know that. Uh, I don't know if she can see the ball, but it's a pretty easy kick if she can't. Looks like she's shooting straight at it. Oh yeah, straight in the heart. Yeah, and now she's going to have to figure out what to do on the two. It's probably going to be a safe. Bank the two out and put the cue ball behind. Use the nine as a blocker. She'd like to be able to roll up into the nine. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. <Yeah>, yep. <laughs> <laughs> he yep. did. Not only does the little one uh, have pool player parents, the little one is a pool player. He's over there on the seven footer uh, practicing. Uh, oh, that's awesome. Doing drills with his mom. His mom's over there setting up balls for him. He's over there shooting balls in. Awesome. <laughs> that's why he knows to stand there and wait. He's a pool player himself. Yeah, he's a pool player. Sweet. Next. Uh, um. All right, we're on the right table. Good. Yeah. I was afraid I left it on the wrong camera angle. No, 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 no. I changed camera angle ah. so I could watch a shot. And uh, you might want to change this angle so we can watch this shot. There we go. Just straighten it up. Nice hit. Nice. Uh, well, very nice. Yeah, very nice hit. And you, know, you didn't give her ball in hand, but... Uh, Think about the only thing Karen would do would be move it a couple of feet closer. That's about the only difference. <laughs> she can dig into, dig into the ball there. See, and yeah. yeah, and that's, and that's because of the distance she was. If she was a couple of feet closer, she would have been nowhere near hitting that eight because yep. you can shoot it a lot softer, and still get the same spin. Nah, that's a, you Which know, one, have, yeah, sorry, go ahead. Uh, it's one of those shots that uh, Glenn Atwell worked on with me. He calls it, you know, digging down into the crotch of the ball. And, you know, you really got to dig in there to get that ball to spin all the way back when you're, you know, length of the, you know, when you're, when you've got distance like that. It isn't really tough shot to execute. All right, just called the bank. I'm going to go right in behind the nine. Out of it. It's going to come out. Mm, but nope, it's no safe. It's not safe, but it's safe. Oh, okay. 
not a, technically not a safety she's not hooked. classical definition of the word, but <laughs> no, 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 she's not hooked. Not hooked. But it is safe. Not snookered. And not even reverse snookered. What well, kind of she is by the rail? Yeah, I guess. reverse snookered by the rail. <laughs> All right, playing no. to playing to overcut it for her safety. Uh, she's uh, she's let let Molly see this, and I think she can see it enough to cut it, and it's almost a free shot because you're playing back down table for the five ball, six balls big in the way down there, and That's gonna Molly go up in front of yeah. the side, isn't it? Yeah, she was playing safe behind the six, and just, she's lost the speed of the table. Yeah, I just overhit uh, that. Between the last, you know, mat, you know, sitting there and waiting for that match to play. She'll get it back. Because she had real good control that, la that last match and had the speed of the table down. But, it's, you know... This isn't an easy shot. It's almost past the side pocket. And cue ball's probably going to be running into the 10, which is going to interfere with playing position on the 5. Yeah. Oh, hey, there you go. It worked out. Worked out. Molly's back at the table with a nice shot on the 4 to start with. All right, is it going to come across? It's going to be behind the seven. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, now you got to kick it in. What do you think about coming from the head rail where she's up right now at this? Yeah, that's the way I was looking at it. Yeah. Up and, and down, and straight and at it. And not, not cross. <coughs> up and down, not cross. Yeah, I think that's a easier kick to go up and down. Yeah, and you can go the two rails too. You can come one straight at it. You can hit the side rail and at it, and either way, it's bringing you out at the uh, towards the six. She's going two rails. She's made Just a good hit, hit but it. has left it pretty nice for Karen. Yeah, I got the double kiss on and the cue ball coming out and. Using that second rail. She would have liked to have been straight in on this so she can just shoot a stop shot for the seven on the side. Now she's going to have to move this cue ball a little. Yeah, uh, looks like she's spinning it. No, nope, just sliding off. Rich B, there are brackets. Thank for, thanks for asking. Go uh, online. Play NAPT.com. <laughs> <laughs> Thought she was going to oh, sneeze. No, I was going to. I, I, <laughs> I stopped it from happening. Play NAPT.com. There are live brackets, which is Score Saloon. And I don't know if they are doing the score saloon brackets today. I haven't seen anybody um, uh, I haven't using seen tablets, any with tablets. today. Um, but the actual tournament board itself is up there. Playnapt.com. With that, Karen extends her lead four to one. Yep. Race to seven. Uh, no, it was that that sneeze was coming out. It was, I, I, I was holding it. Hey, you, were, you were diving at the audio mixer to mute your mic so yeah. you don't sneeze in everyone's ear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, and then it was gone. <coughs> like, just fabulous. 
because now it's just going to come out of nowhere, and I'm not going to and just I'm going to sneeze all over the mic and everybody's <laughs> ear all right over while, the monitor. Right, right while Karen's down shooting the ten. Hey, easy. Or Molly. No, right while right while Molly's shooting the ten. Easy. A chance to get back in the match. Slow and then, your roll. And then she's going to blame you. Slow your roll, Turbo. <laughs> Man, tough crowd. Hey, I'm not the one that sneezed right while Molly was shooting the 10. And neither was I. Thank you very much. Not yet, anyway. Safe yeah. break. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And Whitey. Then... Karen's asking Chris to come do a magic rackectomy or help with one. I think she's done that before. <laughs> Probably. Did she go to ref school? The ref school of hard knocks. <laughs> she learned her refing s skills on the streets. The streets of... Uh, Dublin. <laughs> yeah, and if, in case you didn't know, her nickname is the Irish Invader. Why is that? I think it's because uh, she invaded our pool tournaments and took them over from Ireland. Ah. I, th I, th I think that's why they call oh, her that. Now I can hear you. Hey, I, I almost have to swallow the mic to get it <laughs> up there close enough so that everybody can hear me. <laughs> Good thing they have condoms on them. Anyway, back to the match. <laughs> With that mental imagery in everyone's minds now. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. I had in order for me to talk quietly and have because the players do come stand kind of close over here by where we are and in order to talk quietly um i do i have to have the mic right up against my mouth yeah. it's, it's like the uh, like the golf announcers whispering over here on the sidelines yeah <laughs> i've done that a few times just pulled it in and gone <laughs> <laughs> when you really want the audience to hear what you have to say <laughs> and not the player the password is Chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Karen's uh, she's going to bank this two ball out of here and just stick the cue ball there. Playing safe. <clears throat> Not wanting to give up anything. She's found her groove and... Uh, not wanting to, you know, kind of it's it, it keep, like I say a couple of times, keep that foot on their throat. Don't let them breathe. And Keep the foot on their throat while uh, while twisting the knife that you got in their uh, in their mm -hmm. back. Yeah, exactly. Because if you don't do both and really make sure they're dead, they're gonna. Uh, yeah, they come back to life. You it's know, like those, uh, yeah, it's like those. It's like those. You know, wasps or bees. You know, they can still sting you even after they're dead. You know. Yeah, snake can bite you after it's dead. After you think it's dead. Yeah. Then you're just going to just follow over to the side rail under the seven, back up through that little window between the eight ten for the three ball. Like so. Chase and shape. How far was she chasing it? Across uh, more than half of the table. Yeah, good. And was re rewarded for it with she nice has shape. Perfect angle on this three to drift up for the four. Looks like the five does go in the corner past the nine. Four to the five will, even though the five does go, you know, that four to the five, you know, that ten ball is right in that path where she wants the cue ball to be. She wants to be fairly straight on the five so that she could kind of stop it there for the six in the other corner.
That looks perfect. Yeah. She got as straight as she could on that while, st while still avoiding the 10. Probably just draw. She could probably draw into the eight to hold it, or if she can, she can, she can she follow to the rail and back out without brushing the eight. Uh, yep. Yes, she can. I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna say yes. It's, it's a definite possibility that she can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Karen Core. Yeah, well, yeah, of course it's Karen. Yes, yeah, she can do that. Ten seconds called. Yep. I did not hear her call for an extension. Nah, nope. Didn't need one. Yeah. Nope. Got the shot off probably just in time because it was, you know, she stayed down for a few seconds afterwards. And she's just going to draw this back just the tiniest little bit. Like so. Yep. And she's got a little bit of angle to drift out for the, ni for the nine. Yep. She's going to do kind of like the same shot here, maybe a little bit harder because she wants angle on, on the nine to get to the ten. She yep. may even go over fr farther and then use the side rail to get to the ten. Yeah, like cue ball like around the foot spot area. Yeah. In that In that vicinity. That works. She can s drag it down table, shoot the 10 in the side pocket. Yeah. Looks to me like she's going to just draw like straight back towards the 10 for the 10 in the upper right corner is what it looks like to me. But no, she's well, she had she went your route. She had a little bit of angle there to slide down table. It wasn't straight in to pull it back. She had angle. And then she shot it to the far left hand side. Well, from her view, the far left hand side of that pocket, which allowed her to bring it out even further. There we go. Extends the lead to five to one. And it used to be that, you know, like, uh, in the, uh, it probably will be in the finals. One of them will be um, keeping uh, the time clock uh, with Ford and Chris, and the other one will probably rack the balls for the girls. I know they do that in the, N in the NWPA. They rack the balls. All right. Yeah, we talk about the rules and stuff, but we don't tell them about the rack. The magic rack? No, about the way you have to rack 10 oh, balls. Oh, CSI rules. The uh, CSI rule rack. It, you know, it's they yeah. are not pattern racking. Yeah. The two and the three have to <coughs> go. Yeah, the rules for a legal uh, 10 ball rack in CSI is one ball in the front, 10 ball in the center. The two and the three have to be on the two corner, the two bottom corners, which, corner, which one doesn't matter. Yep. And the rest of the balls at random. Yep. And the at random means no pattern wrecking. Yeah. There you have it. Because yeah, maybe, you know, there's some people out there watching that want to go and start practicing and, yeah. you know, start, you know, never play 10 ball, don't know rules or anything. And, yeah. Yep. Or maybe people think, you know, some people who do, but, you know, play pool but don't understand. And, but, and no, you can't pattern rack, and it looks like you're pattern racking because the two and the three are yeah, because, all. Because you always see the two and the three there. Yeah. So, but th that is requirement. Dry break for Karen brings Molly to the table with a nice shot in this one to start with. Yeah, and draw dra drag off of this two over to the side rail and back down towards the center of the table yeah. for I the three. Yeah, I think she can follow. Th I think she can follow two rails under the four. Yeah, I mean, I, you you can. It looks like that's what she's going to shoot. Especially now that she's getting the bridge, I would I would not be drawing it if I have to go get the bridge out. See, but I wouldn't have to because I'm right-handed. Yeah, and. She's one of those players. She shoots left-handed, but uses the bridge right-handed. Really, I, kn I hadn't seen. That. I guess she's I hadn't been uh, paying attention to her using yeah. the bridge. Yeah, she's so shooting. She's shooting right-handed with the bridge. Yeah, but she's still using her dominant hand to. She, well, not still, but is using her dominant hand to control the the cue there. That's uh, different. 
Yeah, she's going to shoot. She's going to shoot left-handed now, but she shot right-handed with the bridge. Yep. Yeah, it's and like you know, K two. She's right-handed, but she shoots left-handed. Wow. Kind of felt like she kind of rushed that. I mean, she shoots kind of fast naturally. Yeah. But yeah. It's, it seemed like she shot that pretty fast. Seems like it to me. Okay, uh, score on the other table is one to one. Caught it twice. Hit it thin and to the right. You know, yeah. Just a little too thin. Yep. And brings Molly back to the table. Oh. Hmm. That six is uh, in a pretty bad spot there. Just use the uh, right to go, a bunch of right hand English to go across table. That's what she was doing. All right. And that would count as an illegally pocketed ball. Yep. So that means Karen has the option to accept this table as is yeah. or pass it back to Molly. You know, I'm really upset. I haven't heard one person yell option all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> like, like if, you know, you're playing a ring game <laughs> with your buddies and. Right. <laughs> You know, letting him know that he, you know, sarcastically letting him know that he has the option when it's most definitely not going to give it back to you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't heard it once all weekend. She can just. Thin off this four, try to bring the skew ball down under the nine. And that's what she's doing. Is she get out of there? Get no, out no. of there. Mm. Now, if you gotta play a combination, I'd, I'd rather play the combination on the five seven than the five nine. Yeah, absolutely. I think Karen probably would too. She's going to go the three rails around, yeah, the, two yeah. or three. <coughs> yeah, the angle she's giving herself on the four tells me she's trying to come around for the, come around to the back side of the five. Yeah, she's going to come in between the six, eight, ten. Oh, no, she's coming the other way. Oh, she's going to come, she's going to bump to five. Nope. Oh, yeah, she did. Oh, man. Yeah, I thought she would come the long way there. And she tried to come in short. A little shorter angle there. <laughs> Apparently, uh, Refinator saw it <laughs> in the first round, but I didn't get to see it. I, mean, I kept someone thinking, someone asking if you're going to take the option when you leave them straight in uh, on yeah. the ten ball or something. <laughs> <laughs> option? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I can. Uh, you can pass it back to me if you want. Yeah. You sure you want to shoot that? All right, yeah. she's going to try to play safe. Cue ball behind the nine here. No, she's banking the five. She she yeah. ain't playing no safe. Are uh, you going to eat that pickle? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. missed it good. Yep, good speed. Missed it on the pro side. Was that a pro shot? That was a That was a professional shot. <laughs> Somebody might misinterpret that and think I was uh, making fun of Molly there. That is not what I was doing at all. Mm, I was no. making fun of some commentators on another live stream. Yeah, <laughs> that was funny. Had me laughing. <laughs> She was looking at uh, drawing off of it and making the uh, bank the five cross corner call the seven.
Yep, important, important thing here is uh, yeah, getting a shot on the five afterwards. Make sure you control where that ball's going. And Sit. that's not going to work. Yeah, no, I thought she would have banked it and drew it in a little All bit. Right. Bank it past the nine. That yeah. nine makes it a big pocket. Yeah, that mine, yep, she's, she's, already, she's called. Yeah, she's already called it. She's already, she's calling it before I can say it. <laughs> I can't get the words out of your mouth, and <laughs> she's calling it. I'm surprised she wasn't down already shooting it. <laughs> that, that's that's in the heart. She don't even need the nine. Didn't even touch the nine. And perfect on the six. Nice shot, Molly. Yeah, yeah, because she's left-handed, so she gets to bridge to the side of the uh, the eight ball here. I'm going to play the eight on the other side. She needs it to come down. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, she looks up a little bit of a cut, but this is fine. Yeah. Just float it in, cue ball, you know, to the to the end rail. Yeah. She could even go all. She can even go three rails back to the center of the table if she wants that that mm -hmm. angle on the nine. Depends well, and to take the ten out of play too. Oh. The other way, you know, I say you try to hold it up and you hit it a little bit thin, and now you're behind the ten ball. Yeah. This way, just one rail, just cut the nine in, one rail straight up, straight like up so. for perfect on for the perfect. ten. Perfect-ish. Perfect yeah. enough. Well, she'd have liked it to have stopped three yeah. inches sooner. Yeah. But, this will do. She can work with this. Mm -hmm. Serviceable. 5-2. And it's going to be Molly's break. Yep. She could use a break and run right about now. Right about now. Hmm. Oh. Of course, she was uh, standing right in front of me right when I said that. She's probably thinking, yeah. I probably could use a break. I think I'm going <laughs> to. <laughs> Don't coach her to take a break. I didn't. I said break and run, not break. Oh, break and run. Yeah, she was walked right over here and standing in front of me when I was when I said she could use a break and run right about now, and she's probably yeah. yeah I'm thinking the same thing. She's like, yeah, <laughs> duh. <laughs> it's a case of me being promoted from lieutenant obvious to captain obvious. Hello. <laughs> yeah, but at least you have more than uh, more to say than just captain obvious. Hmm. Admiral, admiral obvious. Nice. Break. They broke open all pretty. I don't think she's made a ball. I don't. Three's think going. She made the three. And now she's and hooked. she's double hooked. <laughs> of course. It's all your fault. Me? Yeah, you calling for the break and run. Well, then I guess she's going to have to come up with a pretty nice shot here to, uh, <laughs> to start with. A zigzag back and forth. Kick to one seven combo bank into the cross side. Oh, unless she can see it. Oh, she can see it. Never mind. She can't break and run doing that. I think uh, when this match is done, before the next one, I'll go and call and check on our kids. I haven't done that in like three days. I hope they're still breathing. Yeah, she's. It's going to oh, open up go. nice. Kind of parted the Red Seas there for yeah. a shot on the two. <laughs> There's a follow up, follow it forward for the four right over there by the eight. Yeah. Uh, Oh, I'm curious to see. Can we get the other camera angle so I can see how uh, Karen executes shots from the rail? She does nice little, shot. yeah, nice little warm-up strokes there. I, I, I do. Everybody who listens to us knows I do none on. Uh, when I'm bridging from a rail or something like that. 
I had another thing Glenn Atwell taught me that you actually get more of the cue ball if you can lower that backhand even more and you can actually shoot up at the cue ball. It gives you a little bit more room to, um, to shoot at. It's kind of neat. Now the question is, does this six pass the nine? Uh, Doesn't matter because she's going to play underneath it. So it pro I guess it didn't pass because I don't think she would have played position here if it did. Uh, Wyckoff. Uh, Kia has been eliminated in fifth place. The match for fourth place is Ja Lee. Um, versus, she's playing Ele Eleanor? No. Who's she playing over there? Oh, that's Eleanor and Jai over Ele uh, ja. Eleanor and Jolly, Lee, yes. Suzanne knows the score, so uh, maybe they are playing with uh, Score Saloon. Well, uh, Suzanne will let you know in a second now. And that six ball is just about frozen to that rail. What if you two rail the six back under the seven and put the cue ball down table? Uh, yeah, so I was thinking just, you know, off the left side of the six, cue ball back and forth to the end rail. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yep. Two rail into the back of the seven. Nice shot. Just like that. And she can, Karen can see a little more than half the ball, but, you know, there's nothing... She's probably going to hit something similar, bank the six into the rail, into the seven, and bring the cue ball back down table. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. You don't have to hit it hard. You hit the, you know, it's pretty much almost all the way to the left-hand side of the six. Not not enough like you're just trying, oh, no. So gonna is it going to get behind it? No. Nope. It is not. All right, nice opportunity here for Molly. Cut the six in. You spin out of it or just let the uh Just center angle follow. Bounce out. Yeah, she put left spin on that yeah. and that makes that shot a lot harder. But she didn't want to take any chance of uh, like running into the seven or anything. Yeah. <coughs> Whoa, Sit down, whoa. Ubu. Perfect. <laughs> she got a hold of that one. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, some center left, back and forth. I was thinking come to the left of the nine, but she's looking to come in between the nine ten. Ooh. Yeah, she's just looking at just like just center ball, just cutting it with maybe just a little bit of left. You know, that eight's off the rail a, 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 a good distance. She can put enough, she can put left on this and come to the left of the nine, back and forth to the center of the table. Thanks, she's Okay, and that's what she did. Okay. Uh, slow down. I spin this around. Yeah, you can go forward or just uh, center draw, uh, you know, kind of back and forth a little bit. Yeah, these tables have been spitting those out a lot. Uh, that's what she's doing. I don't know, maybe she, no, she's spinning it. Oh, Just caught the 10, and she's ended Ooh. up almost straight in in the side. Yeah, that was a case of, uh, I think she shot that with, like, high left. Yeah. Instead of center left. Center left would have really push that cue ball forward right off that nine. It wouldn't have been anywhere near the 10. Yeah. And it might have been a little bit, the, the speed might have been a little bit fast too, so the uh, English didn't take off the rail. But she handled it. I handled it just fine, five to three. 
that's going to be Karen's break. And rack. Okay, what do we got going on over on the other table? Anybody? Got some pool going on over there. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Nope. Okay. Right here, I'll give you a, I'll give you a sneak peek. Jaws down, uh, lining up this seven ball. There you go. Drawing it back for the eight and the side. All right, that's all you get. If you want to know how that uh, match ends, uh, you're going to have to watch the full recording when we upload it later. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, somebody's probably Facebook living it right now. Well, I'm sure. That's probably how Suzanne knows what the score is. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Aren't you driving? Am I driving? No. Oh, Brian? Yeah. Brian and Kaylin, are they yeah. on the road? Are they heading back home? Uh huh. Maybe Kayla's uh, driving. Maybe. Uh, oh. Or maybe uh, Brian's driving and Kayla's logged in as Brian. Hey, well, no, maybe. it says Kaylin said. So, well, no, Kayla might be referring to herself in the third person, just so we know who we're. Yeah, never mind. I'm overthinking this. Get up there, get up there, get up there. It did not get up there. Well, maybe. No, mm -hmm. I don't think so. No. Not by the look on Karen's face. No, I don't think that got there. Uh, kick it in this other side or kick it in this side. And Bracket says two to one, and so does the scorecards over there yep. by the table. Two one. Does she call the ten? She was looking at the two ball going towards the ten. Yeah, or the two. Oh, I think it rolled just far enough where it doesn't pass the six now. Yeah, I think you might be right on that one. Well, if you've got to thin the two in. Do you just thin it and call the 10? <laughs> uh, Kaylin is driving. <laughs> I'm watching yeah. from home and on the phone. Okay. <laughs> She's uh, talking on the phone and driving. Hopefully it's uh, yeah. at least hands-free. All right. Oh. Thought she made it when she hit it, but it's still on the table. So those pesky uh, diamond pockets. Yep. Now she's uh, looks like partially hooked by the eight, but she might be able to make this rail first, or maybe have to swerve it just a touch. All right, and that looks like perfect position on the three. Nice shot. Three ball, four in the corner, and I pr I think I like playing position for the five in the corner, not the five in the side. Hmm. Although from this angle, it might be easier to play for the five in the side. Yeah. Well, that four <laughs> is off the rail pretty far, so she could probably shoot this with some bottom right to, for the five in the corner still. On this shot, I prefer the five in the corner. And so does Karen. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, she just punch it forward a little, just a couple inches. Yeah, and she has a tiniest bit of angle, so it will the cue ball will drift out to, to the towards towards the center of the table a little bit. So yeah, she'll pop this out like so. She can shoot us a little bit of a right spin, come back out towards the center of the table, eight in the bottom left corner. Oh, 
Looks like she's drawing this under the under it. Is that gonna get there? Mm, not really. She must have had more angle on that uh, six, and I thought apparently the inside English to the center of the table was not available to her. And that's good speed on that safety. Molly is hooked. All right. She's looking at I'm going to assume she's going to... Oh, she called it in the corner. I would have thought she'd call it in the side because she'd want to go for a hit and stick here. And hit and stick sends the eight ball towards the side, not the corner. And if you don't make it in the side, yeah, you hope to end up with the eight up on the, up on the head rail. So you play it with the speed to get the eight ball to the head rail, trying to hit and stick behind the ten, calling the eight on the side just yeah. in case. Yeah, because you yeah that way it goes down table. Yeah, she hit that a little too hard. Well, she's at least got her uh, on the end rail. Yeah, she left her left her distance with frozen on the rail. Yeah. So this is definitely not an easy shot. No, no. The old long straight in or almost straight in from mm. the rail. Everyone's favorite shot, right? Nah. Not really? Not so much? Not so much. She's missed Not it. even Karen Kors' favorite shot. And that's going to sit up pretty nice for Molly. No, Joe Town, you haven't mentioned how much you love Amazon Prime. Have you watched the uh, video of all the Amazon robots in their uh, fulfillment centers? <laughs> it's one of the coolest things ever. Robots running all around the uh, warehouse, <laughs> packing your orders. Woohoo! Because we don't need people anymore. It's pretty cool. Just search YouTube for there. like Amazon robots. There we go. Nice out by Molly. Five right. minute break. Five minute break. Woohoo! So we'll switch over to this other table while while they're taking a the break. Which camera is on? The way over there. Oh, you moved it. Oh, over. Say hi to my granddaughter. Oh, you is she watching? Chris wants to say hi to his granddaughter when he comes back. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we'll put a headset on him too. Yeah, yeah. Come over and say hi the real way. Well, that's one of that's one of the perks of living in Seattle and ordering stuff that they have at that fulfillment center. Yeah, <laughs> yeah a lot of places uh, Amazon's doing same day delivery now. Not even next day, but same day. Mm. Yeah, and it's Sunday. Huh. Sunday delivery next day <laughs> for free probably or uh, three or three ninety nine yeah. an item for next day. Not too bad. All right, so it looks like this six goes should just shoot and stop right there or drop back a inch or two. There you go. That's what she's done. Just drawn it back a couple inches. And then the score is two apiece over there. Yep, yep. I'm going to take this opportunity to go uh, refill my coffee. Okay, you go refill your coffee. And, if, and, I'm not, if, and I'm not, if I'm not back in time, remember it's on the wrong camera. 
Oh, we can be. I'll try. I usually do sometimes. <laughs> usually sometimes. All right. Eleanor's hit that with some nice speed. Yep, drop back over to right about there. That looks about right. And unfortunately, we only have one camera angle, but I can tell you from on this table that she is drawing this ball for a nice shot on the 10. Karen coming back from the break. Do not see Molly as of yet. And I think Chris is uh, gone to get himself a beverage uh, as well. Karen's, uh, of course, setting up this eight ball shot again. You can't see it, but I can. And she had decided that maybe she should have banked at it instead of uh, shooting that ball in. Or trying to, the seven or, or the eight, whatever it was. All right, here we go, Eleanor to break. Up three to two. Oh, that's a nice break. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, she's only made one ball. So it seemed like it was more than that. She made a ball and has a shot. Pop this ball out of there, put the cue ball. Oh, she was trying. Yeah, I think she was trying to bank the two out and put the uh, cue ball on the back of the eight and just ran into. Uh, got a little double kiss on the two ball. A nice shot there by Ja. Chris is back. It is now. Say you want to go say hi. <laughs> oh, Chris, this one. Yeah. Grandpa saying hi. Here we go, Molly to break. Trailing Karen Core five to four. This is your hot seat match, winter side finals, point match, whatever you would like to call it. And this table has sprung a leak. Three, six, seven. She's made three balls on the break and has a nice shot on the one. Need to package that and sell it. Very nice break. Turn it down just a little bit for you there. 
right, Molly's gonna she's got a shot on the one, trying to slice this into the side pocket. Looks like she might be trying to run into the two. She didn't, but she ended up okay. That ball gets going a little bit. She can shoot the two up table. Go to the side rail. Um, just bolt, probably right at about the uh, the the diamond outside the side pocket, and then go to the other side of the table for a shot on the three. She's got to get from the three to the seven. I know it sounds a little weird, but uh, yeah, because she made so many balls on the break. Apparently it was the four, five, six in the hole. She wants this to bounce out so she can get be able to get down table. She's got a little bit, of, Molly's got a little bit of angle here. She would have liked a whole lot more, but she can, uh, she can force follow this and hopefully spin out a couple of rails to come past the nine and at least out past center of the table to get a shot on the seven. Yeah, she did. It's exactly the line it was taken. It just happened, you know, had to catch that ball so full that it kept most of the speed. Molly has called for her extension here. Oh, you got him to put less coffee in it this time? I was having a hard time getting cream in it. It, was, it started at about this full. <laughs> I was like, it's filling up more than it did yesterday. But apparently they have an uh, amount of ounces that you can have it go through. I did nothing. I just ordered coffee. Uh, this is cue ball foul only. Yeah, even though it's a refereed match, it's uh, cue ball fouls only. They're not doing fouls on all balls. Well, and your referees are sitting down. Yeah, they're not uh, walking around the table looking at you, looking under your shirt every time uh, yeah. you bend over yeah. the table. Because they are shot clocking. Yeah. Uh, it's fact, a nice uh, speed. There's one referee right there with yeah. the white shirt. That would be your tournament director, Chris Rogers. Hi, Chris. Slide off for the 10 in the same one. There we go. This 10 ball for the hill for Karen Kaur. All right. Yep, 6-4, Karen Kaur. I'm a poet and I don't even know it. This is this one I got to turn down for us? Somebody said they could hear the music in the background again. Which one did you just turn? The main. No, don't touch that one. Okay. There we go. No, the turn us down. It's these up here. Oh, okay. And now we got to talk louder and louder and louder. And of course, now the music is going away. Maybe he's hearing our music. No, because <laughs> I, I turned it up a little bit. You couldn't even hear ours. No, I'm pretty sure he was talking about the Journey song that was playing in the background just a second ago. It might be a might be a her. Harley Quinn was a yeah, female, a female. character. Yeah, I, I didn't even, <laughs> I was saying him and not even looking at who said it. <laughs> or he, whatever. But yeah, I didn't, wasn't even looking at who was saying it. Maybe his name is Quinn and he rides a Harley. Quite possibly. And not because they're a DC Comics fan.
Uh, that that is correct, Bill. Score is four two. Um, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, because it was two two, and then Eleanor won that game. So, yeah, it should be four two in <laughs> favor of Eleanor. Oh, Harley Quinn was even able to name the song in the background. So <laughs> yeah, he got definitely hear it. <laughs> definitely. So if they can hear the song well enough to name it. Uh, were you yeah. singing along, bebopping? We're, uh, we're going to be getting some YouTube notices. Yep. <laughs> Again. They're going to say, hey, go get rid of that. It's just more post-processing work for me to remove that uh, audio from the background. Yeah, because we don't want to completely mute the audio. We want you all to hear all this work we're doing sitting over here. Yep. You're quite welcome, Bill. And Molly has had to use her extension quite early in this rack. She just called it. And, you know, it's not it. This isn't a real easy shot to hear to even start with. Uh, just rattled the five, but hey, if it hangs, if it stays there, that's. It's not too terrible. Yeah, this is a pretty... Oh, why am I so uh, muffled here? What happened? Yeah, I, you turned us way down because I'm muffled too. Alrighty. I don't even see any green lights jumping up and down on the... Uh, on the mixer. Hey, that sounds a little better. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot better. All right, Karen's trying to finish this off here with a nice, you know, run out, uh, kind of just sitting there. As long as she gets the right angle on this three, she's not straight in, is she? Um, can she go forward or draw off of it for the six? Well, she can go forward, yeah. That looks like she's drawn for maybe the six in the same side. Not yeah, just take the thinner cut, no problem. Yeah, play the seven, play the seven in the other side. Leave angle to bounce off of it for the eight in the corner because it doesn't look like the eight passes the ten. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. And this looks like looks like she can follow to the rail and back out to the center of the table. Yeah, absolutely. Looks like she's left herself just enough angle to do that. And so, yeah. of course, now that I say that, she, of course, she's going to draw it. Yeah. That's an insurance. <coughs> right, well, she's left herself some angle on this 8, so this, uh, she's going to be drifting this while between the 9, 10. <laughs> Is she going to slide between them and play the nine in the side or something? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, no, she's missed it. And she has left Molly a nice shot here. S Molly's still alive. Yeah, still breathing. Nice chance here. Get that CPR team out of here. <laughs> or no, no, bring them in, bring them in. <laughs> Cut it in, couple rails around for the nine ball down table, probably. Or can she come one back over? No, I think she's going to be playing the uh, nine up table. Up the corner. Yeah. She's drawing this. She looks like she's going to the end rail and back out for it. Same side pocket. 
Yeah. This will work. And go forward for the ten up in, uh, for the ten in the corner. Yeah. Just roll past it. So you could even draw off of it a little bit to bring the cue ball back that way a little bit towards the ten. So let's punch it with oh wow. Yeah, wiggle that ball in there. Rocketed it in the hole. Sit down, Ubu. Ooh. Yikes. Just think called the, it in the uh, corner. I think she's got some adrenaline going there. Just a <laughs> skosh. <laughs> Just a smidge. <laughs> Just a wee bit. And I've seen her. In, okay, she's shooting this one with, with inside. Yeah. She's she, missed it. Oh, no. Is it going to get funny? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, it did. She's going to have to bank this. Or play safe. Did you put real sugar in this? I didn't put sugar in it. They did. I asked for three. Mm. That's a problem. I've only been putting two in it. Oh. But it, it tastes like uh, sweet and low. It's in the heart. For the win, Karen the, Core. Yep. There you go. Karen Core will be waiting for the other matches to finish to see who wants to try to beat her twice. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, Karen Core, that was an A-side match. Uh, Molly will be going to the B-side. She'll be playing the winner of Eleanor and Jolly. Jolly. So we'll be back in a little bit. 